Peeps, the sun's about to flip out. Well, magnetically anyway. Hey, hey, Lacey Green here for D News. If you're a science geek like me, you know that everyone's been talking about the sun. That's because in the next three to four months, we're gonna see the polarity of the sun's magnetic field switch, which is something that happens every 11 years as part of the regular solar cycle. On Earth, the magnetic field switches every two to 300,000 years. So I guess in some ways this isn't quite as special, but it's still pretty amazing. Right now, as we speak, the sun's magnetic field is slowly weakening. Solar physicist Phil Scherer says that eventually it will hit zero and then the field will re-emerge with the opposite polarity. A strange thing is happening during the cycle though. The sun's north pole has already flipped, but the south pole is still catching up. So. For now, at least, the sun has two south poles. And the time it takes for the change to happen will help scientists figure out how powerful and active the next cycle is gonna be. The flipping of the magnetic field affects pretty much everything chilling around the sun's heliosphere. Not gonna lie, the heliosphere is kind of a big deal. It's the area that's affected by the sun's magnetic field and extends billions and billions of kilometers out past Pluto, which just so happens to include us, the Earthlings. As the polarity switches, it sends ripples throughout the solar system. But before you flip out, this won't have any major effect on your life or my life, but there will be some cool stuff going on up there. There may be an increase in stormy space weather around the Earth, there might be some extra protection from crazy cosmic rays, and we might, might see fewer storms on Earth. This all comes down to this little, or actually huge, thing called the current sheet. The current sheet is a giant sheet that shoots out from the sun's equator and has a very small electrical current. When the magnetic field flips, the sheet gets all wavy. When the Earth is orbiting around the sun, we occasionally run into those waves, which then stirs up some space storms. In the normal state, the current sheet already protects us against cosmic rays, aka super fast, high energy particles being flung at us from star explosions outside of the solar system. But when the current sheet is wavy, we get even better protection from the cosmic rays. This is an added bonus for those space probes and astronauts floating around up there. Some solar physicists also say this extra protection from cosmic rays could, maybe, possibly in theory, affect the weather on Earth. Sometimes storms and lightning flashes are helped along by cosmic rays ionizing things in the Earth's atmosphere, so fewer cosmic rays could potentially mean fewer stormy clouds and lightning strikes, which basically means we should celebrate. Thank you, Sun, for doing all those wonderful Sun things, for keeping us alive, and keeping all those natural cycles in sync. And also thank you, D Newsies, for joining me. We'll see you again soon with more science updates.